there's a few more interesting features in Task Manager that I want to look at. So one uh, is if I want to run Notepad, let's say I can run a new task from Task Manager. So I can type in Notepad and actually run that, um, start that process from here. Um, and kind of a nifty little trick, um, when I do run new task, I could type in CMD for the command prompt here, or you can hold down the control key uh, when you click on run new task, uh, and it actually uh, is kind of a shortcut to open the command prompt. Um, so we open a couple more tasks here. The, the other thing I wanted to look at, we were looking at this program in an earlier video, uh, saying it, it may look suspicious because we added the publisher and uh, it didn't have the publisher listed. Um, but we, there's a couple of other things we can do uh, to investigate uh, this. And I'm just going to look at Notepad first, but uh, we'll right click on it. And there's a, a nifty little feature here called Search Online. So if you've looked at it and you think the process is uh, a little bit suspicious, you can actually you know, do the search online. Uh, it'll open your default browser. And so, you know, this one is saying, hey, Notepad um, is, Notepad is potentially a problem um, if, uh, you know, the bad guys uh, come in and, and, and replace Notepad with a, another program. Uh, that, that could be an issue, and we'll probably see that in, in later videos, uh, but, but most likely okay, unless it's doing something uh, weird. Um, and we'll even do Edge itself, and we'll search online for that. And when it opens in the browser, hey, what is Edge? It's, it's, it's the browser, so uh, no problem there. If we search our suspicious program here and say, hey, let's, let's look at that online, uh, what's that all about? Uh, this could be a problem, you know. Um, there's no record of it, no, no online search that says what this program is. Uh, so that might be an indicator that it, that it is something a bit suspicious uh, or it could just be a very new program, uh, but uh, a nice feature that, that kind of quickly gives you information uh, looking at it. Uh, the other thing I wanted you to see is if you right click on it, uh, you can actually open the file location. Uh, so if I want to find out where that suspicious program is before I kill it, um, it can take me to it and, and find out where, the, where that actual executable program is running from. Uh, and we can do that with Notepad or any, any of the rest of them uh, to see uh, the file location. Uh, the only other thing uh, I wanted to look at was uh, under the performance tab as we're looking at this stuff. Um, let me do this. Uh, I'm going to open a command prompt and we're going to run our old loop uh, program just to give us a little bit more processing uh, going on. And you can see uh, from our statistics here, we, we can see uh, what's going on here. Uh, actually, if we want to uh, get all this information and save it in another document, uh, you can actually uh, control C or right click on it and say copy. Uh, and then if we go over to our notepad and we paste that in, uh, we get uh, the text version of everything that was uh, on our screen over here. And we can do that for each of the categories. So if we go to memory, uh, we can get all our memory information. Uh, and the disk information. Um, so from here you can troubleshoot a lot of things on your system to find out uh, why things may not be running smoothly. If you got really high disk access, maybe that's the bottleneck on your system. Uh, so this screen is, is really good for helping you find uh, that sort of thing. One other feature here that we haven't looked at is uh, the resource monitor and there's a link to open that from here. So I'll go ahead and click uh, there and open it. And you can get some more detailed information here, uh, monitoring your system. And again, some nice graphs over here to kind of show you uh, your CPU utilization, your disk access, and, and about your network and memory. Uh, and of course, there's tabs across the top uh, where you, 
you can look at more details uh, on uh, all this information. Um, memory, uh, we can look at physical memory, what's, what's free and, and how we're doing there. That can also cause a bottleneck on the system. Uh, our disk access uh, and storage uh, and network has some interesting features too. Uh, so we can actually drop down some of these drop downs and look at things like uh, TCP connections. And if we widen this out and look at it, we can see uh, the IP addresses uh, associated with some of the connections and also the rem remote address. Uh, so if you track some of these things down, uh, the 13 dots look familiar. Uh, we can look those up and, and track them back to, to a Microsoft uh, IP address. Uh, Cortana does a lot of uh, contacting back. Um, and then we can also uh, look for malicious activity uh, trying to reach to the outside world. Uh, we can go down to this this uh, section and look at uh, what ports might be listening. Uh, and it ties that back to the process uh, that might be listening. Uh, so here, um, you know, if we have notepad contacting the internet, that might not be a good thing. That may be a situation where it, where notepad's been compromised or replaced with a malicious program. Um, so you can look through here and see um, a lot more detailed information on uh, what's allowed, uh, is it allowed through the, the firewall, uh, and again, addressing information. Uh, so a little bit more information on, on what's going on in your system and maybe some ways to track down um, either performance problems or uh, possibly malicious activity. So hopefully uh, you learn some new things and uh, can uh, apply this in the future uh, and make your life, at least on the computer, uh, a little bit better.